Only in America do you add tax after you see the ticket price. Only in America can such a perfect game exist. Baseball. Hamburgers. Cheeseburgers. Bacon chili cheeseburgers. <laughs> everything on top of everything. <laughs> Only in America. Little America is inspired by the true stories featured in Epic Magazine. The series goes beyond the headlines, bringing to life the funny, romantic, heartfelt, inspiring, and surprising stories of immigrants in America. The first season consists of eight half-hour episodes, each with its own unique story from different parts of the world. I recently sat down with the stars from the episodes The Jaguar and The Sun to talk about their experiences on the project. Tell me how you felt when you first booked this role. What did it mean to you? You know, I was really excited. I didn't know, I don't think that then I understood what Apple TV was gonna be, because mm -hmm. it was still not, like, nothing. Like, it was the first time I even saw Apple TV on a breakdown. And so I was excited and didn't know what to expect. And when I was shooting it, I think that's when it started to sink in. I'm like, oh, this is Apple. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and I was really excited. I was really excited mostly because I wanted to work with Aurora Guerrero, which is the director mm -hmm. of my episode. And I got to meet her previously before booking the role. And I was like, oh my God, I wish I could work with her because she's amazing. Wow. Yeah, so I was really happy for that. Wow. Yeah. Who's that? You mean my girlfriend? Wait, you're being serious. This is blasphemy, my queen. You don't know Kelly Clarkson? Her lyrics are so deep. She won American Idol, I'm sure you know her. I don't think so. I'll spread my wings and I'll learn how to fly. I'll do what it takes till I touch. Shut the hell up! People can hear you. Hey, chill. I was just messing around. I don't want any trouble. Please, just leave me alone. What was your reaction when you first were cast and when you read the script and learned what this was about? I was shocked. I was like, wow, really? Like, based on true stories? And, and just even like they, you know, it was like a regular audition, just like any other audition. So I had the script, I had the uh, sides, but then I also had a bio of the gentleman that I, was, I got to portray, mm -hmm. Shadi, and who is a Syrian immigrant, Muslim, from a small town in Syria. And that, to me, like, was so shocking and confusing. Initially, I had to confirm with my, I was like, is, what is this exactly? And then they explained it to me again, and I couldn't be happier. I was just, like, so excited. It's my favorite, absolute favorite thing as an artist, as an actor, to tell real human stories. And for me, that I was given that chance and the person is alive, that I got to portray. He's married here in America, happily married, and I got to meet him at the premiere, and it meant the world to me that he would come up to me and tell me, Thank you so much for so accurately like portraying every moment that I went through. Uh, you brought me to tears. It's something that I never thought I could see up on the screen like so accurately like that. So that meant the world to me. That, because for me, it's about telling the truth. In the beginning, you will lose more than you win, so it's okay if you cry. I don't cry. Oh, no? Again. And again. Next. One more. Damn. Good, very good. Really? No, you were bad. But inside of you, there is a jaguar. How was it for you playing a real life character? Did you feel a certain responsibility with that? Yes, <laughs> yes. I actually, um, a lot of people don't know this, but so I got sent a picture of Reina Pacheco, which is the actual Marisol, the mm -hmm. real life Marisol, the hero. I think she's a hero. Yes. Um, and she, so I got a picture sent and I took her picture and I put it on my wallpaper through the whole time on my phone because I felt like I needed to be reminded that this was bigger than me. Mm -hmm. And I think it was a big responsibility um, to humanize her, to be as, uh, to bring her essence to life 
and and to be as, as honest as I could with her story. Yeah. Definitely. It was really, it was a big responsibility, but she's happy with it. She told me that she's happy with it. She wants to meet me, uh, so that's Aww. good. <laughs> that means I did a good job. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. you did. I've seen the show. Thank you. you. Did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think a lot of people, their pre pre preconceived notions and perceptions about themselves and others are often incorrect just based on things that they've seen on TV shows or the news, what the news like shows the world, like how it is in the Middle East or in Africa. You know, like, oh, people say, oh, Africa is very dangerous. And I'm like, I went there, I spent six months. It was amazing. It was one of the most incredible places I've ever visited. Stuff like that. And I think Little America does that without you having to buy a ticket to fly somewhere and meet people from that culture or that religion. What do mm -hmm. you hope um, viewers take away after seeing this? That immigrants are amazing, mm -hmm. beautiful, charming, funny, um, complex, and that we're human. I hope that it humanizes us. I hope that people that maybe think differently, people that are against the immigrants, mm -hmm. I hope that they see it and they're like, oh, oh, they're just like me. Oh, they have that the same joke that I, oh. I think that that's important. Mm -hmm. We need, stories that humanize us, that show people that we're the same, that we're very similar. I think that's the most important thing right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is life. We don't always get another shot. You always thinking of going to moon when we haven't left the ground. Yes. I'm going to take you to the moon.